guys, welcome back to Planet Zoo. So last episode, we um, got our flamingo exhibit done. I'm loving it. I think it's really awesome. I did get a notification that guests think the tickets are overpriced. So I had to change that. Here's what I'm thinking. I was looking at um, right here, just kind of guest needs and everything like that. And everybody's kind of mad about specifically like they're hungry, thirsty, you know, and a lot of these are like the... Um, food court sucks i'm gonna be honest look at it it's puny it's kind of uggo i don't love it i know we were gonna address the ostriches but they're totally fine right now so maybe we'll do that next time or maybe i'll just do that offline but i'm thinking let's redo our food court so we had did a ton of research and we have a good amount of um different styles and different kinds of stores and things like that so i'm thinking you know let's you know, get this started. Let's put um, a good amount of them over here. You know, maybe not too many, but just some to shake things up because people are kind of getting mad and they're all like in line right here and they don't. Apparently, that's they're just not happy. It's not we're not making money and um, it's affecting guest happiness. Like I looked over here really quickly. First of all, also made a change right here. Look, added the three way the one way glass to the art exhibit. But I, while I was doing that, I noticed. Some flipping people destroyed one of my trash cans, so they were frustrated, and then, uh, you know, upon looking, checking things out, the biggest complaint was, you know, facilities. So we've done a bunch of mechanic research on new themes, new food stores, things like that, all we've been playing. So I'm thinking we need to check out in facilities, see what kind of stores we have. So let's see, we got uh, a water place, juice, gulpy soda, gulpy slush, ooh, cosmic cow milkshakes. Maybe let's do that let's add because there's a lot of demand like people are saying they're pretty thirsty there's not a lot of drink shops so that'd be kind of fun if we add um a new drink shop right here i'm thinking oh yeah i'm liking that and then maybe a gulpy slush as well maybe i'll put this one on this side and then we i think i'm editing that stupid editing group thing um, I think, I'm thinking as well, let's add, um, some more restrooms and, like, some benches. I might even just cut this area off and maybe we'll put a habitat for, like, a tiny animal. Um, maybe some exhibits. I've actually heard those are pretty, you know, they don't take up a ton of room and people actually quite like them. Oh, a coffee shop. Can't go wrong. People love their, their Java, their coffee. So maybe we'll add this as well right here. Awesome. Okay. And then food stalls. So we have a bunch of different options. Pizza pen. Uh, Monsieur Fritter. I don't know if I even said that right. I'm sorry for people who speak French. That was a terrible attempt. Um, so we got some different places to eat. So let's, yeah, let's put that guy down. All right here. Missy Good. Hmm, don't know what that is, but it's kind of a, an interesting, this stupid editing group. If someone could tell me why it keeps doing that, please, because it's bugging me. I don't love that. That's kind of what it does. Yeah, right here. And then, oops. Is this one even connected to the the road? Is this one accessible? Let's see. Oh, maybe we need to have it farther away. I don't know. Something like that. Who knows? Okay. Let's go back to facilities. Um, ooh, ice cream, chief beef, hot dog squad. Maybe we'll do one more, like, place you need to eat. And then, um, maybe a souvenir shop, I'm thinking. Let's take a look really quickly. Um, information, yeah, merchandise. Ooh, aquatic shop. Ooh, an African small shop. Let's do that. That's kind of fun. Is it, how come it's... Is it, am I putting it on the wrong way? How come it's not connecting to the path? Let's take a look. Nope, oh, this appears to be right. Let's see, we got Looney Balloons. We don't really have any aquatic animals yet, so don't like super want to put um, that down. And maybe another, oh, balloon shops are expensive. Maybe just one of these shops. Sorry guys, we're only going to do one balloon shop for now. We don't have a ton of money so far, so... This is kind of as good as it gets. And maybe like that. Bam. And then I'm noticing people... This is rude. I don't like it. But people are um, littering a ton in the zoo. 
Um, and it's kind of frustrating, I, I have to say. So let's go back to facilities. We're going to add a bunch of um, different, where is it? Bins, yeah, bins, benches, and securities. A bunch of, like, we have these cool themed ones. So we're going to add a bunch of these guys. Let's, I'm going to put one next to every other. Maybe I'll add actually next to every single one, but I want to shake it up with the different kinds. So we already have one right there, so we'll put one. right here hello security man because i mean we want to give our guests like every opportunity to recycle and throw their stuff away as possible because apparently as at the end of the last episode remember i made a joke i was like oh they're not gonna litter in the exhibit they littered in the exhibit i got a warning that like the exhibit was dirty and i was like oh let me take a look what's going on it was they're freaking littering like guys come on like, you're, like, right in front of the animals. They're going to be disappointed in you. Yeah. And then maybe, um, we, we have a couple of different kinds of benches. And, like, we could kind of, people, here's the issue. I put some down. People are not, like, sit, sitting at them. They're not doing it. So it's, like, unless they complain, there's nowhere to sit and eat. It's, like, I don't, actually, maybe it's something like this is kind of more attractive. Ooh, a little canopy to eat under, maybe. I like that. Um, what about this picnic bench? Maybe we'll maybe we'll put like two or three on the corner. Like one here. One. One here, maybe. That's not like blocking the route though. And maybe just one like there. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna Line this middle area with trees, make it look kind of a little bit nicer. Let's also put um, an ATM here. Let's see, guest facilities, money, let's see, ATM, so that they can be spending, spending that, that cash on us, guys. Giving us all that money. All right, I like that. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's also get some little nature, some, some trees in there. Let's see, let's look at trees we haven't, we don't need to filter because we're not like looking at a specific animal, so it doesn't really matter, I think. But what kind of, this is kind of an African area though. Um, so maybe we do want to only put um, like more, look at that tree. That's $300 though for a tree, that's crazy. Some cacti, no, I kind of want just some like almost want to use the palm trees actually where, where are let's see is this guy it's pretty small but that would look i think kind of nice if we just had like let's see get it out of the way get it out of the way yeah if we had just like a couple of these like lining here so you can't kind of see back there adds to the mystery I mean, it's not like it's like a huge deal. It's just behind the shop, but you never know. And then I'm thinking also maybe to add another restroom too. So people are not like, hey, there's nowhere to go to the bathroom. Yeah, something like this. I know these shops are kind of boring. I was hoping to get more themed ones, but I guess we're going to have to do um, more research to get more of those guys. Something like that. Maybe put one... Something like this, maybe? So it's like they can't really go in there, and then... Oh, I don't want that on top of the ATM. That would be... <laughs> that would not be great. Alright, something like that. And then I'm thinking, like I said, um, maybe we need to add another restroom over here, too. Um, so let's actually put... Let's go back to facilities. Um, let's do all... Your toilets. Ooh. Aquatic toilet, African toilet, toilet large. Let's just do this toilet block. We'll do one. Bam, right here. Awesome. And then I'm thinking what else we'll do for this episode is we will add some exhibits. So let's look real quick, though. Here, it's kind of boring in this middle area. So maybe we need to put, like, um, some bigger trees that kind of stand out. Some taller ones. There are a couple of 
different kind of tall, super tall palm trees. Nah, that's the same one that we've been looking at. Ooh. Maybe we'll do like, bam, bam. There we go. Something like that. And there's plenty of trash cans in here in this area. You never know, we might even need to add more. I just, I don't want people to be dumb and litter. It's bugging. You know, I'm like, guys, come on. We're trying to preserve animals here. And you guys are, you're ruining it. So yeah, this area is looking okay. So now that's going to think, I think, take the pressure off of that. We added, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more um, places to eat. Um, let's also do, whoa, low on the cash. So um, let's also go to our staff and work zone and assign people to some of these areas. We might need to hire more vendors now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe we'll hire like two more of these guys. Um, and I might even create, once we put more exhibits in, I think I'll uh, put that in there, put that in there. What? Well, I guess that one's not clicking. Oh, and this, Habitat's not in, in, in work zone anyways. We'll probably create more work zones as well. And then let's get these guys in work zone one. And if anything, let's assign some of them to some of these shops too. Make sure we got people. It was, I guess, preferred shop assignment. I didn't know that they you could do that. I guess they'll just kind of go wherever. But I didn't know you could just tell them, hey, you have to go here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Work zone one. Pretty much everyone's going to be in works on one. There's really nowhere else to be. Okay. Looks like everyone is assigned. Awesome. Let's unpause real quick. See, hopefully people's thoughts of the zoo will go up. And we'll be making more money. Let's see, overview. Guess. Hunger and thirst. Let's see, time to go home. Chief Beef looks busy. Zoo feels pretty small. Zoo's great. Are the newer thoughts down here? Everything at Information Center 1 is too busy. Oh, flamingos are having babies. Zoo's very spacious. You can get a good view of the aardvark. Ooh, our everything went up except for thirst. Um, our flamingos are mating. Heck yeah. I'm thirsty. Zoo tickets are expensive. Serious? Literally, they're not. Guys, every freaking zoo I've been to is like a million dollars. No, but it's like 40 bucks. I'm, there's plenty of drink places, guys. Come on. It's scorching out here. Oh, you know what I just thought, too? Let me uh, pause really quick. I know the coolers are really supposed to only be used for the animals, but it's very hot. It's 37 degrees Celsius, um, which I want to say is like in the 90s, so it's very hot. Um, we're two and a half stars. Getting up there. Let's see what's lowest. Gets education. But guest happiness is great. We're not doing any marketing. I'm not really sure if we need to do that. Anyways, what I'm thinking is, um, I know you're really only supposed to use these for, like, the animals, but, um, I'm thinking of putting one just, like, bam, right there, and then one in this middle area, just to, uh, make this cooler, because I don't want the people to be like, oh, it's really hot, let's see, um, let me see, what is 27 degrees Celsius, let's see what that is in Fahrenheit, So that's about 80. That's kind of hot. Let's actually put it down about 23. 23 brings us to 70. Is maybe 20? Be in the 60s, I think, then? Let's do 19. We'll do 19. Also lower it in the ground so you can't see it. Bam. That way it's a little bit more appealing. Let's look right here in this area, too. I think I put one, like, back here, didn't I? I was trying to remember where the heck I put it. There it is. And then we'll put this guy also at about 19. And I don't think we need to lower this one in the ground, because you can't see it. It's behind everything. So hopefully, that will make our guests a lot happier. Let's go look really quickly at our guests' thoughts. Time to go home. 
here's the thing. I can't tell, like, which is the bottom and which is the top in, te in te terms of, like, guest thoughts. Let's see. I think they're doing okay. Look, she's- oh, look at them all. They're eating pizza. You better not litter, I swear. Frickin' litter in my zoo? You're out. Look at this guy. He's looking happy. He's looking good. Lines don't look to be too long. Oh, it's a shell. Oh, that's why it was so cheap. So it's just, it's not even a shop. It's like, you put a shop in there. Oh, that I understand. Okay. And I'm assuming this is also, is that a shell as well then? Let's see, merchandise. Can I put like the loony balloons in here? Oh, what the fetch? Oh, it just went in there. Did it go in there? Do I, how do I, frick. I'm like kind of confused. Let me move this guy really quick. And then I guess we have to put, I thought we put shops down. I didn't know that that wasn't a shop. It was just straight up. No wonder it was not expensive at all. And then, let's see. Oh, okay. I understand now. Oh, okay. That's how we can make these guys look a lot nicer as well. Okay, really quickly. So what's this one supposed to be just a shop? No one's in there. So it's probably not even a shop actually. So let's go back to facilities. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we've been in here just chilling like, oh look, we got all these shops, you know, whatever. And they're not even a shop. Yeah, there's nothing even in there, so that's why I'm kind of like, is it even a shop? Let's just delete this one. Yeah, I don't even know, that kind of bugs me that it was just kind of right there. Like that. Oh, I get that now though, how you can make them look prettier, so that kind of makes sense. Um... Maybe we'll put another, these bl flipping balloon shops are very popular. So I'm kind of like, let's just put another one and then we'll put the shell on it too. So it looks, there we go. Maybe we'll spice our zoo up and put like more of those on there. So it'll kind of nicer. I, I didn't, I thought it was like just a separate building. I didn't know it was co a cover for it. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let's fast forward to daytime. And then we'll look at some animals put in uh, these just like smaller exhibit animals versus like a habitat. Oh frick, my aardvark has died. Oh my gosh. Wait a second, let's go. Let's go over here. Where is, where is my aardvark? So we're gonna have to call the vet over here. Let's, we're gonna have to unpause and then. Oh, vet was already there in like two seconds. Okay, let's check a look then. Who, who's in our aardvark habitat then right now? Do we have anybody in here? Oh, there are no animals. Okay, I think I bought one because I knew that they were gonna die. So let's go really quick to animal trading. Oh, am I filtering by something? Oh, right here. We do have a bunch of ostriches in here. I moved some of them out because we need to take care of their habitat later. And some of our dingoes as well. Um, so we might need to, to take care of that. But I thought I had aardvarks. Did I not buy any aardvarks? I could have sworn I did. All right, we have a baby. Send a zoo, and then let's get a let's buy a male too. Animal trading filter. Arvark. Oops, I didn't even do it. Confirm. And then we want a male. He's kind of old. Yeah, but he's the best. Let's adopt him. And there we go. Aardvarks were back and ready to go. Okay, awesome. Get those little guys back in the zoo so we have that exhibit going and then we'll fast forward again until morning and we'll see you then and we'll get our exhibit set up. Guys, one of my dingoes was sick so we gotta put them in the vet recovery center. But that's kind of crazy. Okay, back in morning, honestly fast forwarding through the night, we earned like $7,000. So that's pretty great because I was kind of worried like we only had about, you know, 
10 around there, 11. So that's pretty awesome. But I'm thinking this, this area is kind of small. Now we could add like a little turtle exhibit. But what I'm thinking is, is they have, um, if you go to Habitat, they have, um, these like little, I think you can buy just a straight up exhibit. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me, facilities, let's see. Small, yeah, here we go. Small animal exhibits. So we could buy something like this. I think that could be kind of fun. Um, to get like a smaller animal and put it in there and that'd be kind of nice like um, You're eating or in the food court area and maybe there's a line of like uh, three or four different kinds of Small animal exhibits like these are usually just like reptiles um, We're not putting any bugs in here. I cannot with those. I think they're flipping disgusting So that's a big no from me. They're not gonna be in this zoo <laughs> If you want them to be in your zoo go for it. And they're not gonna be in my zoo <laughs> That's for sure Maybe something like that. One there, and then maybe even. Ooh, I like. Yeah, something like this. So it's like we got kind of three in this small area. And then let's see who we can add. So let's take a look really quickly. View animal exhibit market. Ooh, snakes. That'd be kind of fun. Yellow anaconda. Who doesn't? Oh, they don't have great oh, longevity and fertility, though. What about a western diamondback? Go diamondbacks do like that baseball team Ooh, some frogs that'd be kind of fun Ooh, look at this little guy elder though oh i thought his name's eater i'm sorry sorry little man i thought that was your name oh yeah maybe let's uh this guy even looks let's get this guy let's stop the male maybe a female that'd be kind of fun um let's see what are these called red-eyed tree frog let's look at their zoopedia really quickly Red-eyed. Oh, or is it? How come it's not s searching? There we go. All right, let's take a look. Um, their exhibit species data one to five. None but males may be aggressive during mating season. Oh, okay. So we can actually get. Um, let's go back. We could get a couple more of those guys. They're kind of small, so I'm thinking. Let's, uh, let's adopt this guy. You probably want another female. Let's adopt that, adopt that guy. That'd be kind of fun to put him in here, I'm thinking. So how do I... Oh, I think I just um, do it the same way. I just release him like I go in here. Stored animals. Oh, request exhibit animal. Oh, okay. Got it. I was kind of confused. So we'll probably want to buy another female. Um, and then these guys should be good delivery scheduled and then i think with these it's kind of simple did i already really quick set up my work zone education's not great i know we're trying to trying to set that up um let's set up the work zone make sure we can include these little guys in here because we definitely want these ones to be included as well and click those two as well awesome we're probably gonna have to end up setting up another work zone but for now this is as good as it's gonna get so let's see these little guys oh did i maybe i clicked them to be into this one okay maybe i did i didn't i didn't realize that let's let's see him get delivered wow that's kind of a cool little exhibit animal is not an ideal humidity range Oh, they're already in there. Okay. Let's see. Welfare is not great. Exhibit. Ooh, ecosystem is not great. So let's take a look. Um, layout. Enrichment. Oh, temperature. Okay. So temperature they want. Let's see. That kind of looks like it. And they want it to be way more humid. Let's see about, what about like 92? Oh, that might even be too much humidity. Let's do 87. That's perfect. And temperature, spot on. Um, really quickly, let's get our vets um, researching these guys. Or even just like mechanics. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, let's research this disease because it's active, I guess. Let's get Shad researching our um, 
I guess we, we're, we can stop researching our kangaroos for now. Um, and then we'll keep one of these guys free. Let's see, is there anybody who can exist, who can, um, take a look at, is there anything on here that's specifically, like, about exhibits? Maybe staff facilities? We'll do that one. Um, souvenir shops? Let's do that as well. Okay. Awesome. And then, obviously, we don't have any layout set up, but we can set these little educational boards to be the red-eyed tree frog. Ooh, you know what I realized? You can't even get to that area. Let me, let me take a look right here. You, can I put, if I make the width very small. Can I, oh, there we go. I was like, you can't even access right here. There we go. Okay, awesome. So that way you can get to all sides and kind of walk through all of them. I was not like concerned, but I was kind of like, what the heck, you can't even look at them. So that'll be kind of fun, this little area. I know these these guys aren't, not that they're not as fun to add, but like it's not as fun because you don't really get to like set up a whole exhibit, you don't get to put down terrain and build things, but it is like easier and easier animal to add. And um, it does add enrichment for the zoo. Let's see, red-eyed tree frog. Oh, look at that. All right, and I think they're already in there right now. Let's see. Can you see them though? Like, am I gonna be able to zoom in here and watch them? Like, are they are they too small for me to really be able to? Oh, wait, there's one right there. Oops, oopsies, that's not what I wanted. Okay, can I orbit him? Oh, you can like orbit other animals, but I guess these guys you can't. Let's, oops, 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 oops. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of see if I can really see him but i guess there he is oh awesome guests are thinking tickets are in a price we're going back to 12 dollars, 13 and 7. it's kind of a big jump i'm gonna be honest it's like 50 percent increase but look at him oh he just did a little ribbit oh look at this dude he's a good looking little frog that's awesome i like that a lot that's cool Sweet. Okay, that's fun. I didn't know I was going to really be able to see them, but um, once we get more um, research done with these guys, we'll definitely be able to add more stuff. Let's get some other animals in these two other um, smaller exhibits. These are kind of fun. It's a little bit easy to add. Um, they can go in smaller areas. Um, look, someone already said that they can't wait to see it, so that's pretty awesome. All right, let's see if we can get a snake added. Um, I think that'd be super fun. Don't you guys think? I don't know. Like, um, uh, snakes, to be honest, they, they scare me. I don't, I don't love them. Um, she's okay. Let's see about our Western diamond bags. They're not doing good. No bugs. I cannot puff at her. Let's see. What about this male? Nope. That female's okay. Ooh, uh, lesser Antillian iguana? Yeah, that, that person's, that Antillian iguana is, is great. Are there any more of those? Let's filter. Let's see. Let's see. Lesser. No, that's the only one. Okay, we might have to wait on that. No tarantulas. I'm sorry. I'm a big... I I know it's not real. I just don't like them. Ooh, what about this green iguana? All right, let's get her. Are there any males? Maybe they don't want males in there. Um, or poison... A Gila monster? I mean, longevity is not great on that guy. Neither is on her, so we wouldn't really want to breed those two. Snails, that's kind of boring scorpions freaky and gross and um i know it's like an arizona thing but i just i don't like them let's see what about an eastern brown snake let's see can we get this female her fertility's okay we'll go for it um and then ooh, tiny turtles oh okay let's see about um let's see this is a good this male looks looks good what about um this female she looking good too. Okay, let's get these guys added. Oh, people are already looking. All right, request exhibit animal. First, really quick, let's take a look um, at our um, diamond back. What is this? Terrapin? Let me make sure we got as many as we need in there. One to eight. Wow, they're promiscuous. Um, maybe we can even, let's see. There are more of those little guys because if we can have one to eight in there, um, 
That'd be kind of cool. They're like, uh, what are they called again? Diamondback something? There we go. I think it's a turtle. This male. Um, he's okay. Oh, we'll get him. Why not? All right. Request exhibit animal. Let's put these little guys. Let's, um, here we go. My species. Sort. Send a zoo. Bam. They're going to be in this exhibit right here. Look at, I think they can swim. Okay. Their exhibit definitely needs some, some work. Nutrition and everything else is looking good. Let's take a look really quick though. That they're, uh, if we can see them in here. Let's see. They're going to swim a lot, Wes. So that, that's actually going to be kind of cool to see. You see them chilling. Oh, are they swimming already? Look at them. Oh my goodness. Get over there. Get over there. Move. Ah, quicker. Move quicker. I mean, it's paused. So it's like, look at this little guy. Look at him swimming. Oh my goodness. Look at his little face. He's like, what's up? I'm in my habitat. I'm liking it. Look at, ooh, look at his kind of like claws. It's kind of freaky. All right, let's uh, let's take a look really quickly at their, um, no, we don't want that. Well, I'll do the education board in a second. I just want to edit the habitat really quickly before I do that. Um, there we go. All right, animals, climate. All right, their temperature is way too high. I'm thinking, let's move down to 27. Humidity is just about perfect, maybe a titch higher. And then let's unpause and see. Let's see if 27 is in there, in their range. Even 30 was perfect, so 27 might actually be right in the middle for these little guys. That's perfect. Um, oh, you can close windows if they get stressed. That's kind of cool. Awesome. These guys, I mean, they're pretty looking good. We'll definitely get um, some research done on them so we can add more things. Let's turn on our little educational boards. It's kind of nice that they already come with it. So it's like I don't have to do a lot, but it's already there. And it's nice, too, because there's, like, multiple entrances. I mean, I'm going to be honest. You're probably not going to go, like, right here. Unless... Can I put a path here? Can I... No, it's going to say mal malformed. Malformed path. path so I'm not even going to turn those ones on because you can't even get over there. Cool, people are already checking them out. Awesome. All right, we have all those turned on. Now we got one more to add. So we already have a couple exhibit animals that we've chosen. I just, um, oh, vet research complete. Let's see what we got. For our red, oh, diseased animal. Frickers, frickers. Okay. Oh, our, man, our uh, vets are on it. Goodness, they're like super quick. Quicker than I thought I could be. Let's take a look. We got some research done already on our red something what is it called red-eyed tree frog red-eyed yeah so let's look at their exhibit see if there's um the layout is not great let's go Ooh. let's do leaf litter c cool that's actually kind of oh it's a little bit too cold let's do about 27 Perfect. All right, awesome. Cool, okay, let's also get, um, we might need to hire more vets now that I'm thinking about it. Let's pause real quick. Zoo, staff, veterinarian, bam, bam. Nah, the two is fine. And then let's go zoo, staff, let's assign them to the work zone. And we always want, so I was kind of reading about like staff and stuff. You always want, I guess, one of them to be free so that in case, you know, animals need attention, stuff like that, um, there's always somebody there. So let's get you going back on the diamond back, terrapin, or terrapin. I don't know how you say that. That's my, that's my best guess right now. But yeah, hopefully we can get some little um, research. Look, I just think it's so funny they float. What's up, guys? You're floating. All right. Let's get our third and final exhibit set up. So, okay. Request exhibit animal. Here's what we have. We have iguana. Let's start Antillian iguana, I think. Green iguana. And we have the eastern brown snake, actually. Let's take a look. We already have a male and female of that. So, let's actually look. Let's check here. Eastern brown snake. And see if they need one to five. 
um, excluding, I think it always excludes uh, juveniles, so it always excludes the babies. Um, let's see, look really quickly. Let's see if we can get any more of these guys. Uh, what was it, the brown? Eastern brown snake? There we go. We got another male. His longevity is not great, so I don't really want to buy him just to have him in there. Um, so let's actually, instead, we're just going to send these two in here, and maybe eventually we'll check out the exhibit market, market and get these guys all set up. All right, they need a ton going on. Welfare, nutrition, social health is great. Exhibit is 2% layout is not great, so we probably need to get one of our veterinarians in there and checking them out. Let's see really quick. Oh, look at them. It's kind of They're kind of honestly a... Uh, smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Look at that. Let's see. Let's zoom in on him. Oh, and awesome. Look at this. Look at that. They can. There's a little cave and you can see them. Like a little snake hole. Wow. Cool beans. That's awesome. I didn't know. I didn't see that before. That's so cool. Oh, there's the other one. All right. So let's take a look really quickly. Um, layout. We're gonna do research. Um, here. Let's actually, while I'm thinking about that, let's get one of our. There we go, one of our vets up there. And you know what I realized too? Um, let's train some of our staff, now that I'm like thinking about it. Um, the more you train them, the better they'll be. So if you can train these guys just like a little bit, they'll just be able to step it up and kind of do better things for, you, for your zoo um, and be able to better help. Only, I guess, quote, downside that I've read is that you have to pay them more. But I don't think that's a terrible thing. To have to pay pay your workers more because they're better trained all right let's bring this down i'm thinking about 27 humidity let's go up maybe three degrees let's see how that does for him you have to i really do you have to unpause it in order to be able to see that oh that was oh flip it another diseased animal what is going on who is oh i thought it was the dingoes. Flip the dingoes. Um, man, you know what we might even have to do? Oh, this is dirty. Ooh. Let's uh, edit this really quickly. We're going to have to put a water thing over here. Um, Yeah, we might need to take care of their exhibit a little bit more. But, oh my goodness, that's kind of... The dingoes, we might need to even just kind of buy new ones. They're having a lot of, there's a lot of like health problems over there, a lot of diseases and stuff. So let's get, let's put up the finishing touches back on these guys real quick. And then we'll put up a bunch, a little bit, of, a couple of donation bins. So Eastern Brown Snake. Ooh, uh, I didn't know you could uh, access it on this side. So um, I'm also going to try to put a path right there. And then Eastern Brown Snake. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's try to get a path creeping through. Can I get it like straight up to there though? Get out of the way. You're in the way. I can't see anything. Yeah. And then perfection. I like that. It's kind of a funny looking area, but it's kind of cool. You get to you can eat, chill, and there's also a couple of just smaller exhibits you can look at that don't require like a ton of walking around. Um, you still get to see some some different animals. So awesome sauce. All right, let's always do our little finishing touches. That's per usual guest facilities and get those uh, tip jars out and about so we can be getting that money. Bam. People don't eat to my zoo. Come on, you can do it. Let's see. Give us money if you want cooler animals. This is the way. Star Wars reference. Look, everybody has a balloon. I feel like it's kind of like Disneyland. I've never seen this many people with balloons. And then um, I'm just paranoid. I'm like, stop littering, people. I swear. Y'all are... Where's it's Bench has been securities. Y'all are making my zoo not look good when you litter. So stop littering in my zoo. I'm going to give plenty of opportunities over here. Put a trash can right there so you guys... You don't have to walk that far. There's... A trash can right there, too. So you guys better not litter. I swear. Goodness. All right, let's take a look at... Ooh. I thought we had crime for a sec. 
Education is not great. Oh, my aardvark has matured. Let's take a look really quickly. Are there too many aardvarks in, in here? Because I saw that we had a baby and then something else. So it doesn't look like there's another aardvark in here, though. No, there's just the two. Oh, they're feeders. They need food. Get over here, keeper. Let's actually check out everybody else as well. <laughs> Make sure we got food in this one. Call keeper to habitat. And then, yeah, our dingoes. I feel bad. They keep, like, stuff keeps happening to them. And that's not great. A lot of them are, like, dying. A lot of them are diseased. So that's not ideal, for sure. Um, oh, goodness. But people are liking our little exhibits. Let's look really quickly. People's thoughts. Guests' thoughts about the zoo. Zoo ticket price is great. You can get a great view of the art bar. The toilet block is free. Never been somewhere that they charged for the toilet. So that's good news. Just getting actually, um, lives in Argentina for a while. And public restrooms do cost there. So in a couple places, it depends. But occasionally, yeah, it does cost. Everything at Information Center is too expensive for me. Well, I... I don't, is there a way that I can, let me look at here. Can I change the price? Oh, I can. Oh, I didn't know that. Adoption pack normal, let's do 1750. And then let's change these all to be like 250. It'd be annoying. I hate when companies, like, if something is a specific color, they charge more. I mean, it's different if it's, like, clothing and stuff, but, like, sometimes it's like, oh, you're gonna go buy, like, a blue controller, but the red one is, you know, $10 more or something. It's dumb, in my opinion. There we go. Okay, maybe that will help people be a little happier. I just definitely switched up the price a lot. see dingo has joined the pack maybe they came back from the whatever center all right guys i think we're gonna leave it to that we got our food court all set up got our guests a lot happier kind of more fun fun looking area for people to um to be in we added three more small exhibit animals that's awesome and we got a ton of mating going on so we're probably going to be half like look our red-eyed tree frog is already expecting offspring so it looks like we're going to be sending a lot more animals to the wild and getting a ton more conservation credits, hopefully on our way to one of our bigger animals. Hi fam, we'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you also leave a comment below what animal you like me to see after the zoo next. Alright, see you next time.